Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. In case you don't know me, if you're a new viewer, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome so much. So guys, um, today I want to talk about a scenario as to why I'm not having a baby shower. And this is something that I actually had in my head. This is not like an idea that I didn't have. It's an idea that I had planned for. It's an idea that was actually there. An idea that I was like, okay, I must do a baby shower. Because... I've never done a baby shower, even with my first baby. Actually, my first baby came unexpected, unexpectedly, so I didn't have the chance to do that. I was confused. <laughs> if you guys really know, I was really confused because I was really so young. But with this one, because it is planned and all, I actually thought I would actually do the baby shower. But you know, things when the things went sore because a lot of things have happened along the way guys a lot of things nowadays even inviting people to your house is actually a problem because of the pandemic that we've been having going to the clinic is a problem i don't know if you guys have been going to the clinic if you're if you're expectant or you've gone to the hospital the doctor cannot even examine you they cannot touch you they cannot even examine the baby unless they're doing a scan for you. They cannot examine the baby and see the condition of the baby. So um, one reason as to why I'm not having a baby shower is because of the pandemic, by the way. Because um, right now, I'm not feeling so well. I'm prone to so many things. It just passes with me. Flu passes with me cough it will pass with me so everything that comes along so probably even the disease when it comes it will also pass with me so i'm just trying to be safe and i'm just trying to like um not like have so many people around like <laughs> of course when you have a baby shower you're going to invite so many people so that is one reason i'm not having it the second reason is fans of course guys like right now things are really hard with finances and not for everyone <laughs> some people are saying you should talk for yourself so i'm speaking for myself right now we are not that financially good so the money that we have at the moment we have decided to like do the important things you know the maternity stuff baby stuff and all that stuff so we've decided to like pull away the things that we feel like they are not that important of course i know a baby shower is important it makes you feel good it's psychologically prepares you for your baby but for me at the moment it is not even necessary but it really makes me feel so bad not doing it because i would i was really looking forward to i also want to give you guys a 32 weeks pregnancy update and i just want to tell you like how i've been feeling you know and i'm also going to give you guys a belly shot of that so guys stay tuned for that so um Right now, I, what I can say at this point, I actually made a video of 30 weeks, but that 32 weeks is something that I can actually talk about, something that is so, so common, something that, that has dominated everything, is actually heartburn. I would actually talk about heartburn. Heartburn has really, really, really done something. Heartburn, very heartburn, and some abdominal pain on my right side. So I don't know why that is happening, but um, my doctor told me that it is actually normal because actually when you walk or maybe you walk or maybe like you bend, so that 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 that's the update. And also the that thing, um, I have a sleeping and waking up strategy that I was given by the doctor. So probably um. I don't know if I'll be able to like demonstrate to you guys, but let me just say it. You just, when you sleep, don't just sleep and just wake up immediately. No, you should sleep when you, when you, for example, you're, you're, you're sleeping like, like this. You should ensure that you turn to your side. After turning to your side, then you wake up very slowly. You wake up very slowly. That is what I was told because I was told when you're pregnant, especially in your third trimester, you're not supposed to like, when you just wake up, you just wake up from the bed very fast. It's like playing football and that one can cause miscarriage. So the doctor was actually telling me or encouraging me, if you want to wake up, just turn to your side, then wake up very slowly, move your legs, then just get up. But if you wake up very fast, you'll get that sharp pain. That is what I've been doing, but um. I stopped since my doctor was 
<laughs> my doctor saw it when I went to the hospital. So that is something that she updated with, she updated me with. I didn't actually know because I used to wake up very fast. After waking up, I would feel a very sharp pain. Then that's the time I'm remembering, oh, I'm pregnant. You know, like you should always be careful when you're waking up. And the doctor also told me you should not sleep. You should not sleep like this. I don't know how when you're facing upwards because the placenta can actually go around the baby or is it the placenta or the umbilical cord i don't know it can actually go through the baby it can choke the baby and the baby can die so it is very advisable for you to sleep on your sides don't sleep on your stomach and don't sleep on your back advisable to sleep on your side and guys i can tell you it's really uncomfortable i don't know why me myself i feel comfortable when i'm sleeping on my back <laughs> i don't get it on my left on my right i feel so tired so so tired when i'm sleeping on both but i have to because that is what it is recommended and also in that two weeks i have severe back ache uh, my back is really aching. I can remember I had this problem when I was just in my first trimester, but my second trimester was fine. Everything healed, you know, everything felt normal. But now I still I'm having the back pains again. So that is something that has been happening now because when I was 30 weeks, that's something that I didn't feel. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel so see you guys in my next video bye